Welcome back guys. Okay, carry on with this stairwell. The first thing we'll do is stick the stairs in. They look quite good. Yeah. Look, look finish. It's funny how the different wood shows the different finish. Okay, the first thing to do is to stick these in there. So. I don't think you need much sticking, but uh, I'll have to put a new nozzle on these soon. Doesn't take much glue, does it? Oh, there we go. I, you couldn't do that again if you tried, yeah? I stuck the wrong, put the glue on the wrong surface. Don't take an awful lot. I'm good to use to make sure you get the short and the long in the right place. Welcome back guys, well as you can see I have put the top on the stairs and I've put the stairs in there well I suppose the stairwell. Um, those are the four pieces I cut yesterday, when I tried to put them on I discovered I was like a millimetre out on all the sides so I redid them, um, I did them in situ. It's, uh, it's not too bad, is it? So, the next thing to do is to put those little pillars onto here. It, that, I'm going to do some measuring. So, let me measure it and I'll come back to you. Right, guys, there you can see the nine pillars set on the same well. It took a little bit of time to get the spades, but it's easy. It worked out as exactly a centimetre between these. This one I just had to pick the midpoint and then all you have to do is get them in the centre. Now I've got to dig out the wood for the, the top rail, cut that, shape it and uh, that'll be ready to drop into the deck in a few seconds. Well, a few minutes. Okay, let me find the wood for the next space. Guys, here's the stairwell with its upper ballast <laughs> every time i look at this it looks like the angles are wrong but they're not it's 90 degrees all the way i'm just gonna let this set and then i shall set it in the deck and that's that little stage finished okay come back to me when i put it on the deck right guys you can see there but the stairwell there uh where have i put my white glue here it is on the table. Wait for me. So, focus with a stick to get some glue out. I'm going to use white glue to put this in the hole because I think it's. Uh, it'll help. 
was a structure. Is it right against the joint? Like that. Now they show it with the opening to the starboard side. What do you think? I keep my hands out of the picture frame. Push it in. That white glue is also going to help these boards that were a little bit floppy. I haven't got any way of clamping it. I just got to use my fingers. I wonder if I can just put my my pliers are heavy enough. I'll create a, I can't get the angle to hold them in. Okay, I'll come back to you when that's all set. Now this is going to be an interesting one. Um, the next stage is to do these um, rings, which are the base of the mast onto the deck but this is four mil thick wood so i need my exceedingly sharp knife to do this to cut these out that one nicked it straight away it's pretty good so i did that one as usual i'm going to sand these I did get a little bit of shape added to them, so there you go, guys. Four uh, mast rings assembled. Not worried about the outside edges being absolutely in line. The uh, the important bit is the centre. The centre have to be good enough for a mass to go through. Okay, I'll let these set up. Probably take a, an hour or so, which ties in nicely with my coffee break. I'll come back and we've got to shape those a little bit. Just round off the top corners of all of them and then they get painted in the favourite dark red leather again. Okay, back shortly. And there we have the four rings joined together, shaped, sanded. The shaping is just slight rounding off on the top edges. This one looks kind of not even. It just needs a little bit more rubbing off. Well, it's a bit bent stuff on it. it. Used to be okay. Okay. Let that set, and then we'll well we'll mount three of them, not four. Fourth one doesn't go until the top deck is is added. We'll let those three, let those four, dry before I put them on. See you in a few seconds. Good morning, folks. Well, it's good morning for me anyway. Um, okay, I'll try and put these uh, mast, what would you call them, um, mast submarines, see if I get the right size, these are the right size mast, yeah I guess so, biggest thing is to try and get them in the right place. Not so easy, is it? Yeah, that one's in. I think. That's in the right place. So, this one I know has got a bend on it. And you're going to say, what? 
Why is he putting the mask in? I know what to do. Look down through the hole. There's a little hole here where I can see the, the bottom. No, I can't. Bulkhead's in the way. <laughs> okay, so. There it is. Yeah. I don't know if it is or not. Let's move it around a lot. Angle looks wrong, doesn't it? There it is. That's it. You can see there's going to be some flexing of these masks when I, I come to putting them together. Okay, so. I said there were large of them. 12 millimeter. How much bigger than 8 in this one? That's not too bad. Just fits nicely down there. Now, that's where they're going to go. So, what I'm going to do is just tack them with a bit of super glue. Or should I use white glue? If I put white glue on and keep it towards the outside. So they will pull the mask back out is the the thing. The last thing I want is the mask being stuck to them. You know, we really need a smidge on there. Let's spread it with your finger. Right now. Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. That's not enough stick. To dry. Then I'll try pulling the mass out. Famous last words, huh? That one was well stuck in. Hmm. Good job I pulled that one out. I had a bit of glue going around it. So did that one. There we go. Right. I didn't leave them the half hour. That was a few minutes. 
it's enough for the glue to hold it in place. Right then, hopefully you can see that sheet of metal. <laughs> the fun part here is going to be uh, putting those little handles in up here again. Okay, this is the piece I want right here. So. Hang on, I've got a nice sharp blade, haven't I? What I put in yesterday. Let's see if I can nick it with this blade. I'm gonna pop it off on my grinding wheel anyway. Yeah, I would often wondered about this damn binnacle. I thought when I when I first saw one on a model, and I thought, is that what they used to cook the food? I didn't know what a binnacle was. I'm not. I'm not into naval terms. I'm an Air Force man. Um, so I looked it up and that's when I found out it's where we keep the compass. And this is going to be a bit of bending, a bit of bending, a bit of bending. But first I've got to take these uh, little lens off. So here comes my magnifier again so I can see what I'm doing. I might have to turn the sound down for this. I have to be finished off with the pile. Right, let's try and find some um, straight nose pliers. Yeah. I hope you're still focused on the table you are right so you see what the pictorial presentation says comes an awkward bit now because this one has to also be bent but not quite to 90 degrees at the moment it will get closed in later we'll take it to there for now that's what they show and then they stick a stick in it which is a bit strange um to do the painting Okay, I'm going to paint it and I'll come back to you in a second. Alright guys, I'm sure you can see that. It's painted in a nice shade of beige. What do they call this? Buff! Number 40. It's buff. So, with that set, it won't take long. Um, and then we we'll use some water down. For number 42, the old dark red leather, um, to cover that, and then it gets oak stain on top of that. So it really looks like imitation wood. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to cut out some windows and find the other pieces of wood which go to make up the shelves and things like that. Okay, I'll come back to you when I get everything together. Right, folks, I am. Uh, I left a stage out when I was painting the, I painted the, the buff colour that they asked for and then the watered down that red leather. Now the next stage is to oak stain. Um, that's what it says on the instructions. So. Yep, number six, which is oak. I 
I've never tried staining the top of the bit. What effect does that have? Does anybody know? I can't really see if it has any effect. This show is quite brown, but uh, I'll put it on and we'll see. Right. What I'll do with this stuff. On here, on the metal, you can see it. Well, and just like that, I found my HD machine at the back of the desk here. Oh, I want a little spot just to cover up where the gold is. Where the uh, paint came off the brass. Basically, is you just you do it until it looks right. No, <laughs> okay. Why is it blowing on it? Not hot. Well, I'm just clearing the holes. There we go. Little bit of paint on there. Do a little bit of wash in a minute. Right, so I don't lose them. Take this drill out of here. Put it back in it, so hold it. Right, so I'll try and let you see just how small these pieces are. And you can see I painted them and rubbed them so that they look like compasses when you look into them. So let me try and put a ruler beside them so you can see. Just how small these are. That whole piece is, well, it's not even three quarters of an inch. It's, a, it's, it's only just about two, two um, centimeters. If you, I don't know if you can see the centimeters there. Yeah. Just two centimeters. It's a bit over three quarters of an inch. And I've got to get that in there. You can see in in here I've already mounted the acetate sheet, polystyrene or whatever. It's poly, polyethylene sheet. It's inside there on the windows. Yeah, you can see the reflection there. So I'm going to try and get this mounted in there. Um, I'm not going to film it because I'll probably swear. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Guys, I have to tell you that went on so much easier than I thought it would. It's in, it's clamped. You can see it there. So let that stick for a few seconds. It won't take long, it's super glue. Let it stick for a few seconds and I'll put the bottom and the top on and I'll come back to you again. Right guys, my binnacle is builded, is built. So I'm gonna let it sit and set these little nail heads that become my draw push pulls. A little bit tricky, but they're done. Let's see if I can get the light a bit better for you. Kinda of hard to see in this at this point. But there it is, that's it done. I'm not gonna pick it up because it's a bit on the delicate side. Now, we'll fit that on the ship tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to leave it to set overnight. I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, guys, I think you can see the, pin the binnacle is positioned. I've just got to tie in its ropes. 
Um, I used a darker string than they recommend because I wanted it to just stand out. So, all I've got to do now is find my needle threader, tiny little bit of plastic, it's not plastic, it's like metal foil. I put it down somewhere and I can't find it. But then, that happens to me all the time. So I may just uh, have a go at just threading it. It's only got to be threaded through and knotted. A standard eye, which is currently setting. I don't see it off the top of my head. I'll be having a tidy up after this session because I'll be moving things around again. So let's see if I can put this. the hole in there. What's it? Doing this without benefit of magnifier or needle slider. Maybe it should have been at a different angle. Oh that's good because it's not stuck yet. Let me see if I can get my magnifier around so I can see what I'm doing. Because I move that and then you can't see what's so going you come. So let's put a little bit of sticky stuff on it. And move it around. That one moved around. Let's see if the other one's this way. Yes. Okay, we'll leave that to set for a few minutes. Um, I'll have a look from a needle thread of all that's setting. Oh, what well, do you know? Look what I found. This should make it a bit easier. I'm not going to pull these tight yet because uh, I can see the glue still setting. Last thing I want is to pull the hooks out of the deck. I keep calling them hooks, they're not hooks, they're rings. Imagine me trying to thread these on the road. Okay, well, let's try it from the other direction. Oh, it was uh, 
set in a little bit. Let's put this button back on. You have to leave this for me a second. Okay, guys, I put the button back on. It come off. You can just about see it on the end there. And I tied the knots up while I was at it. And I put a little bit of glue in just to hold them. Let that go off. We've gone back to the bench for the next stage. Um, I just thought that's... Does that look straight to you? It doesn't to me. Yeah, it's straight compared to the other parts. Very good. Okay, next bit's on the bench, so we'll be moving the camera again. Okay, I'm back. Um, I put these two pieces on yesterday. Just going to get the angles right on them. Straight like that. And then there'll be two nails that go through where the other ones are. That's that piece. And this piece, what I had to do a little bit of uh, repair with. Let's see if we can get the nails out. We're back, and my microphone's working this time. Okay, I've got some bits painted here, which are setting up nicely. Bit on top of the tweezers here, I can take that off now. Clean my tweezers up. It's all the trouble. You end up cleaning them more than they use them, I think. At least I know now I can straighten up the tips with the pliers and it makes it a little bit easier to use at times. This is straight. Now then, I'm going to get my special snips out need to move you a bit right. nice sharp pair of snips back in again back on the board right so if you don't know what i'm doing with these it's to snip off these nails snip off the excess I keep my thumb over the end to stop them flying away. You end up with them stuck in your thumb. I'll grind that in a minute. Right, yeah, I'll give them a little grind down in a sec. I need too much, it needs to be smoothed out a bit. No matter how you. Uh, how you cut them, it's how you finish them off. So let me put the microphone on. Sharp under there at all, so that's good. Right. Yep, please that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just move you around to the other location while I do the mounting of these. Right back to my imitation wood. 
I've already put some paint in here. Oh, it's about four drops of water. I must admit, it's the funniest way I've, I've uh, seen of making imitation wood, but uh, hey, if it works. If it works. Yeah. Basically, you're making a wash. Most of this paint will disappear. As I say, it's not really classed as a paint at this stage, it's a wash. Uh -huh. And then when this is dry, I've got a coat of uh, oak, oak stain. Okay, that one's on the floor somewhere. I shall get down and find out in a minute. Didn't expect that to fly off. I'll find it. So, to the other side of these, uh, what I've jokingly referred to as the steering wheels. Biggest thing is to try and get it washed over all. All the little nooks and crannies. But, okay, let me see if I can find the missing piece. It's almost sure to say that the smallest piece bounces the furthest on this floor. Okay, I'll come back to you in a second. It took me about 10 seconds, but I found it. Okay, let's see if I can keep it on the tweezers this time while I give it some paint. It was my brush is knocking it back off the tweezers that's okay right we'll leave them on the tweezers for now these are all looking good another little bit dries very quickly it helps if you don't overload the brushes so. Right, the next bit means I've got to find some other bits of wood. Mm -mm. It's going to be fun trying to find these. I have to make another little spindle. So, give me a few minutes to see if I can find the wood. I'm just going to up the magnification. On there are two pieces of RWS4 and an RWS5 in the middle. Um, they're on, this is how they tell you to keep them together. Because they are a spindle, 
which is going to go on the end of a spindle. I'll have to use some white glue to hold it together. Hope you can see that. Now that's going to have to set. So that's where I'm going to finish the video for this session. Um, everything's painted and setting. It has to be finished off in imitation wood. This has to be taken down so it's only three millimeters um, wide. This bit. So from from there to there is three, and it looks it's about four. So I guess I've got to take about half of it down on each side. Easy job. Ha! Famous last words. Okay. You enjoying this adventure with me? Yeah, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. When you subscribe, the notification icon will come up, which is a little bell. You can't miss it. Click on that, you'll be notified when new videos are available, which in my case is normally Mondays and Thursday evenings. Unless other things get in the way, like going away anywhere. Um, Feel free to click on the like. Feel free to share. So, as I say on my tail trailer, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.